I'm Alex from Wilkinson Cameras and I've got a very exciting lens to show you today. This is the first of its kind and the first in a brand new lens series for Canon. I'm talking about the brand new Canon RF 24-105 f2.8 L IS USM Z lens. This is one of three new lenses released by Canon. I've done separate videos for the RFS 10 to 18 and the RF 200 to 800, so go and check those out. But the 24-105 f2.8 is a professional hybrid lens for photo and video content designed to suit the needs of hybrid professionals, so people that are shooting both stills and video, I need one lens to do everything, and do everything really well. Canon say that it's setting new standards for photographers and filmmakers, and it really, really is. So I'm testing two brand new Canon lenses today. Uh, we're gonna film some mountain bike photography. So I've brought in Will, a local photographer who specializes in mountain bike and commercial mountain bike stuff. Um, if you wanna give him a follow, it's at Briggy Smalls on Instagram. And we're gonna basically put the lenses in his hands today for stills because it's his specialty. And I'll be shooting some video to test them out as well. We paired this with an EOS R3 and also an R6 Mark II, but this would be equally, if not more, at home with an EOS R5C or a C70. We've been using a pre-production sample loaned to us by Canon, so please ignore the black tape over parts of the lens in our on-location footage today. But also, the final image quality might not match up to the production lenses, and as such, I'm not allowed to zoom into the images to show you the quality. But I can tell you that the samples we took are exactly the quality I'd expect from an L-series lens and you're just gonna have to take my word on that for now. I didn't tell Will what this lens was before we met up, and he was excited as I was when I first heard about it being an f2.8, 24 to 105 lens. I'm pretty confident that this is a world first. It's designed to bridge the gap between cinema EOS lenses and standard EOS R lenses. We've seen in recent years that lens designs have been forced to change due to the rise in video and the introduction of hybrid cameras, but this is one of the first, if not the first lens, which has been designed from the ground up for this purpose. It's not a stills lens, which has been improved for videographers, nor is it a cine lens that you can use for stills. It's a whole new breed. I am intrigued as to why Canon have opted for the Z or Z for the name of this series of lenses. I wasn't told this pre-launch, it was just on lens when I received it. And given Nikon's Z series mirrorless cameras and Z mount, it seems like an odd move, but that's what they've gone with, so we'll probably find out more about that later. Uh, so Will has got the brand new EOS, uh, EOS? Uh, the brand new Canon RF 24 105 f 2.8 L IS USM Z series lens. He's modelling it very nicely. Um, <laughs> here we go. What were your initial thoughts when I showed you this lens for the first time? My initial thoughts on this lens were. Wow, I don't know, that sounds a bit like cliche, but for like the standard photographer is used to like 24, 70, 70, 200. This was a bit like, I wasn't expecting you to come with this because it was like, it's not normally a focal range you're kind of familiar with because it's never been done before. So to see the 24 to 105 with two eights throughout was a bit like, Okay, it was a bit like shocking, if anything, because it's that you know you've never heard of it before. So, for someone like me who shoots like bikes and normally needs a two camera setup or switches lens quite a bit, this is like would almost get rid of that. So, a lens like this, I think, would massively benefit someone like myself for shooting bikes or like that mid to short range focal length. So, definitely surprised when you got this out of the bag. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this. Pretty happy, yeah. The new hybrid lens lineup is going to combine key features including autofocus, image stabilization, power via the RF mount, correction functions, a control ring, minimal focus breathing, step plus iris ring, and a cinematic look, uh, servo control, and more. But what we're expecting to see in the line is also a relatively compact series of lenses compared to the cine and broadcast lenses anyway. The RF 24105 F28L is going to be the new standard zoom lens for professionals. It's so versatile. Uh, we shoot with a 24728, but the extra reach for the type of work that we do would be absolutely brilliant. It means we could pretty much leave the 70 to 200 mil at home for most of the content we create. A wedding photographer could shoot the whole day, photo and video without changing. For the focal range, aperture and features on this lens, it's relatively compact. 
It's not what I would consider small or light for a 24105, but this isn't your everyday 24105. It's a bit like a traditional 70 to 200 F2A in the size and the weight. I, that's probably the, the closest comparison I could make. It's also weather sealed, as you'd expect from a professional lens, uh, and comes with the tripod ring you'll see as standard. It features an 11 blade aperture for rounded bokeh and the f2.8 lends itself well to nice background separation and bokeh in the right conditions. There's up to 5.5 stops of IS or up to 8 stops with a stabilised body and there's 3 IS modes as is standard for most Canon L zoom lenses. Stabiliser 2x quite well. I like it. Yeah. I feel like I'm christening it because it's getting muddy already. The lens is made up of three aspherical lenses placed uh, for high quality throughout the zoom range as well as UD elements to correct chromatic aberration and ensure sharp, vivid images across the range and across throughout the focal length. There's also coatings to reduce ghosting and flare, but as usual, being a pre-production sample, we couldn't test this in depth for you. I have been assured that the image quality on this lens is on a par with the RF 24-70 f 2.8L and all of our images have been sharp throughout. There's two lens function buttons on the lens as well as a control ring and something new for Canon lenses, an iris ring. This gives extremely flexible aperture control with 3.2 steps between stops as opposed to just jumping from one stop to the next. This ring is incredibly smooth to operate. You can also lock it into the auto position if you prefer. I have a couple of issues with the iris ring based on my own shooting preferences. It's actually a little bit too smooth for me and too easy to knock. I'd like to be able to tighten this up or to be able to make it clicky for lack of a better term. Sony, for example, have the D-click feature on their aperture rings. This might be mainly because I'm a stills photographer, although I was mostly shooting video today. The iris ring also didn't do anything when in stills mode. So on the R3, uh, when switching between video and stills mode, in stills mode, the iris ring just, it didn't work. So I kept trying to change my aperture when shooting stills, but didn't do anything. Now, this might be a pre-production issue. Um, I will feed this back to Canon, but to me, as a hybrid lens, it should definitely perform the same function in both stills and video modes, and it worked perfectly in video. The lens features a dual nano USM motor, uh, which I do mistakenly refer to as an STM motor when I'm out on location a couple of times, so apologies for that. I was juggling three cameras, three new lenses, and a load of boys to keep an eye on. The USM motor ensures fast and quiet autofocus. The AF was silent to my ears and I didn't have any issues with focusing whilst shooting stills or video. The lens is mechanically designed to minimize focus breathing and the dual nano USM motor ensures stable focus even when zooming. So when zooming in video, your subject is going to remain the same size and remain in focus throughout the zoom range. Now, I didn't test this because as humans, we are rubbish at zooming smoothly in video. It's why without specialist lenses and equipment, we tend not to do it. But that brings me nicely onto another brand new product announced today, a dedicated professional power zoom control or servo motor designed to go with this new RF 24 to 105 mm lens. There's contacts on the lens where this gets power and transfers data, and you can see the small gearing on the lens to allow this to work, to, to zoom the lens effectively. You'll be able to remote control this and it's going to offer smooth professional zoom options and that's going to really be a great option for video. I wish so much I'd had a sample of this but unfortunately I didn't uh, so hopefully we can test this in the future where we'll go into a lot more detail about that accessory as well. The servo unit isn't out for a few months yet and there's no price for this. There's actually two versions, one with a USB-C port and one with USB-C and 20 pin ports. It's looking like these are going to be around 1200 to 1600 euros, probably the same in pounds, with the 20 pin being towards the higher end, but this, this is just a ballpark figure at the moment. I don't have that confirmed. That's just a very early sort of price point. And that is the brand new RF 24-105 F2.8L IS USM Z lens. The first of its kind and the first of a brand new hybrid lens series from Canon. I've been told that this is going to launch at 3599 in the UK, 
uh, but we have been given the wrong prices ahead of launch before so have a look in the description below where we'll confirm the price and we'll also put a link in to buy from us or to check the latest prices and promotions as well. I think this lens is going to be super exciting for professionals shooting weddings, events, corporate work, sports, just loads of things really. It's so versatile, the f2.8 aperture this is a one lens workhorse for professionals and I think Canon have made the best decision bringing this to market. I am so excited to see what's next in this range. What do you think of the RF 2405 f2.8? So this one I think is a, a standout lens I think. Sounds a bit daft but I think it might be a game changer simply because with me I always have like a 2470 or 7200 so to have that like overlap I don't feel like I needed 200 as much. I felt like I could just stick with the one lens. I didn't have to feel like I needed to jump between kind of like with mountain biking. It depends. You're either one or the other. Whereas I think with this, you could do both. So if anything, I think if you just went shooting with this one lens, being 24 to 105, 28 all the way through, I think personally, I might be sold on buying one of these myself. Because <laughs> they're just like, so versatile, like you don't need to change lenses, say if it's like a really wet day, which you can be when you shoot mountain bikes, or it's dusty, or the weather conditions might be a bit questionable for changing lenses and messing with cameras and stuff, and you don't want to take your lens off, I think this would be, yeah, a game changer really, because you just put it on, and you don't take it off. So I'm really impressed with this, and also that when we were shooting with it, I found when you were shooting, you could almost like, just, like move it with your thumb, like you got it up like this, you can like move it with your thumb quite easy so you can track quite well with it because you can just, it's just so easy to jump up and down the focal range and it's kind of like a half turn maybe and you're from one end to the other so it's quite, say if a subject's coming straight on you can track it quite well because just with your thumb you can just move it rather than the usual like full hand so I felt that was definitely a, a bonus for this lens, I think it was um yeah, really impressed with this lens to be honest. I definitely wasn't expecting you to pull this out of the van today, so... <laughs> yeah, I think this is definitely a game changer, this one. Yeah, I might buy one. Sold me. <laughs> Tell us what you think about this new lens or the introduction of this new hybrid range in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're still a growing channel and your support means so much to us. Thanks for watching and now go and check out our other videos.